the woman at the center of a digital uproar. Of all people, Justine Sacco should have known better. She's a PR hotshot of sorts, but Friday, before boarding a flight to South Africa, she sent out an incredibly offensive tweet about AIDS and race. By the time she landed yesterday, that tweet had gone global and she had been fired. ABC's Gio Benitez is on the story. Gio. Good morning, Dan. Up until a few days ago, she was repping big websites like Match.com and The Daily Beast. Now she's unemployed. So many watching her demise online while she offline was on a plane. This morning, Justine Sacco is without a job, fired after sparking an international controversy. Her peril began the moment she tweeted this, going to Africa, hope I don't get AIDS, just kidding, I'm white. After the nearly immediate outrage on Friday, her former employer, internet giant IAC, quickly issued a statement calling the comment outrageous and offensive. And after firing Sacco on Saturday, again said it condemns the tweet, but said she is an individual who we have otherwise known to be a decent person at core. Sacco apparently oblivious to the rising backlash without Wi-Fi during the nearly 12-hour flight from London to Cape Town, South Africa Friday. The whole time, her Twitter account exploding, her reputation imploding. Online critics launched the hashtag, has Justine landed yet? Anxiously awaiting the moment Sacco would get online and perhaps discover at last the severity of the response. This is one of the fastest responses in crash and burns I've ever seen from a tweet. This photo posted to Twitter shortly after Sacco did land, reportedly shows her in the Cape Town airport, on the phone, wearing glasses. Moments later, the offending tweet was deleted, then her entire account. But still, no apology from the woman once responsible for the image of some of the biggest names on the internet, Matt Match.com, OkCupid, About.com, even the Daily Beast. A PR person has two jobs. One is certainly to present things to the public, but the other is to read the mood of the public and really be sensitive to that. And this was shockingly insensitive. Her family tells ABC News this is not indicative of the type of person she is. But on Sacco's now deleted account, she described herself as a troublemaker on the side and known for my loud laugh. Sacco is expected to make a statement very soon. She hasn't said a thing publicly since sending out that tween de tweet, Dan and Beyond, and clearly a lot of people want to hear from her. Yeah, and she allegedly had some questionable tweets in the past as well. Gio, our thanks to you.